Hi everyone, uh, my name is Mike. I'm with Omni Office team. Um, Ubuntu is one of the most popular systems uh, among our users, being highly stable and interoperable environment, uh, favored by community of individual Linux users and uh, corporate users hosting Omni Office docs on the Linux server. And um, so today I would like to cover the topic of how to boost um, paperwork automation and smart collaboration uh, with Omni Office forms. Uh, focusing on Ubuntu-based use scenarios. Um, at first, uh, just a brief intro to OmniOffice. Uh, so it's an open source project with focus on advanced and secure document processing with OfficeOp and XML as the core format. Um, JavaScript is chosen as one of the most universal web programming languages and for service site scripting, Node.js is used. Only Office is integrated in more than 30 widely used platforms and available in various distribution formats and packages such as DB, RPM, Docker, Snap, AppImage, UCS, AMI, Kubernetes, etc. And uh, Only Office source code is accessible on GitHub. Um, and specifically, uh, the Only Office doc suite is uh, accessible uh, from web, desktop, and mobile using applications available for all platforms. Um, over the year, we released three major versions. The latest update on the Office Docs version 7.2 out in September brought many useful enhancements. Um, integrated plugin marketplace uh, for easy and straightforward plugin installation. Also, a live viewer to see the changes made by other users um, in the view only mode. Um, enhanced work with forms including ligatures and text clustering and uh, consequent support for new writing systems such as uh, Sinhala, Devanagari, and Co, and many more. Um, and next, inserting and editing uh, spreadsheets as all the objects um, uh, embedded in text documents, uh, sheets, and slides. Um, usability improvements and updated interface elements such as new interface themes, a new search and replace interface um, and hotkeys, um, and getting and sharing a link to the selected data range in sheets. Also, a new form fields and settings, and many more improvements. Um, so, why do you actually need paperwork automation? A big share of daily documents are model universally structured files such as agreements, briefs, contracts, proposals, budget plans, reports, and lots of other similar documents. Every process that involves such repetition has a room for automation aimed at optimization of file creation and sharing in organizational document flow. Um, <clears throat> And everyone will agree that it's much more comfortable to create standardized document template once and then just see, use it when it's needed. So with this understanding in mind, only Office created smart forms. And the core idea here is to allow uh, <clears throat> users to significantly reduce the time they spend on creating standard documents, optimize the process uh, of electronic document management, and therefore automate lots of business processes. Um, so how can we explain uh, what the only office forms are? Um, imagine the functionality of Microsoft Office content controls and add uh, flexible settings from uh, job forms, uh, make it all available online and with open source code at the same time. And on the other hand, uh, seamless call free mechanics and features just like in Google Docs. And as a result, we got uh, only office forms basically. Um, so <clears throat> only office forms are available on any platform and any device, including web, desktop, and mobile applications. And uh, you can work with forms uh, with the infrastructure you already use with integrated only office docs, for example, in Nextcloud, Confluence, Jira, Redmine, Oplesco, Flown, etc. And besides, you can bring form editing to your users within your own platform under your own brand. Uh, what exactly you can do with OmniOffice forms? Of course, it's uh, form creation, so you can build any desired uh, form template using various form fields and adjusting them with the standard settings. Uh, since you can work with forms online, you can also create forms together with your teammates in real time and with less effort. Um, and you're also able to share your forms um, um, 
with other users who can fill them out online. And at the same time, we remember about you know, the established standards and in working with forms. So that's why we made it possible to export only Office forms to PDF format. And so let's, let's discover each step closely. Um, <clears throat> OmniOffice offers a classic set of fields for form creation. So here you will find um, text field or text area that allows inserting any kind of text. Um, combo box for choosing one of the uh, predefined values for, from the list and editing the selected value if necessary. Or a drop down list for choosing one of these values from the list without ability to change them. Uh, checkbox for choosing all options uh, that apply for user, um, radio button for choosing one of the suggested options, and uh, image for inserting visuals. Um, a new field called the email um, address, it came out in a new version. Uh, it is a type of text field with a special format of uh, regular expression, which implies uh, entering the at sign and thus allows inserting uh, emails. Um, and uh, another new field is a uh, phone number. It is also a type of uh, text field, which implies using um, customizable uh, arbitrary mask to uh, set any needed phone number format. Um, <clears throat> and uh, using the new complex field, you are able to compose any custom field you need. You can uh, insert text and as many new fields as you want into one complex field. Um, so each um, form field provides its own settings. For example, it's possible to adjust uh, border and background colors as well as change uh, highlighting colors, uh, move and rotate form fields to put in the right place in your document. You can insert um, the field in line with your text or fix its position, uh, or you can also mark it as important uh, if required so that it will not be possible to miss it. You can also add tips and placeholders to make your form easier for those who will fill it out um, or group fields together to allow filling them out simultaneously using keys. And the newly added text setting allows users who work with fields in automatic mode, so using other programs or uh, parsing the document without opening it uh, to simplify form creation. Um, for the fields, there are um, some additional important important settings. Um, uh, it's possible to allow um, multiple entry, um, specify characters limit, and set automatic um, <clears throat> field resize to fit the text. Um, you can also apply uh, a combo of characters, um, which spreads uh, the user enter text evenly uh, across the width of the text field. And uh, besides now you can allow usage of any specific symbols and uh, set the needed format. So none for regular text fields, only digits or only letters. Um, uh, battery mask for phone numbers and regular expression. So um, <clears throat> the rule according to which uh, mandatory characters I entered in the field in the required order, such as email address, I mentioned battery mask and how it's used to, uh, for example, in the phone number field. Um, what's important, you can um, build forms together with your teammates. For example, um, if you have to create an agreement, you need help from your colleague uh, from different departments, it's exactly the case. So um, here you can uh, create such a form altogether in real time or switch to the strict mode and work on your part privately, only showing the changes you make after saving. And uh, you can also leave comments, you can mention users, you can review the forms, you can track changes, browse version history, so basically everything you can do with uh, ordinary text documents. And you can also communicate in a document um, to speed up the process. Um, for, in this case, you can use our built-in chat or you can use the Telegram plugin, um, as well as uh, Jitsi plugin, with which you can make audio and video calls right, right in the editors. Um, <clears throat> You can also share the creative forms with other users choosing the special sharing option in the file menu and users um, who are granted the corresponding permission um, are able to fill in the form online uh, locally or on their mobile devices, for example. Um, and moreover, 
you can export your form to PDF uh, to uh, fill it in using any uh, PDF editor such as Adobe. Um, standard forms um, <clears throat> formats, um, we mean like DocX and PDF, did not allow us to bring all the ideas into life. So that's why we decided to introduce new formats, DocXF and OForm. Uh, so DocXF is a form template uh, that you create, you can edit it and you can collaborate in it. And um, uh, Opform is uh, a created ready to fill out form you share with others, which they uh, can fill out um, without uh, the ability to edit the um, rest of the body. Um, <clears throat> to give users um, something like an entry point and to make work with forms easier, we created a form library and are extending number of available templates constantly uh, in uh, of different languages. Um, so you can scan this uh, QR code to explore it yourself. It's absolutely free, like no registration needed. Um, and uh, here um, we provide um, ready to fill out forms and templates which users and enterprises can take to save their time. So it's not necessary you use it like right on the website, you can just save the ready templates for your own reuse. Um, all forms in library are absolutely free and you don't need to register or install any additional software. You can just take the provided forms, fill them out online and download in desired formats uh, in DocXF in case you would like to adjust anything in the form or you want to edit it before filling out an O form to just to share it for others for filling in or to um, uh, you can also export it in PDF uh, for filling with any PDF editor. Um, <clears throat> only Office Docs can be installed on Ubuntu-based systems using a variety of installation methods depending on your preference and specs. Those include options such as DB package, Docker, Snap package, and uh, images and managed, managed infrastructures like AWS, uh, Alibaba Cloud, uh, DigitalOcean, and Vulture. And you can find detailed documentation on every method um, via the link uh, in the QR code on the screen. And I will run through each of them here as well, just quickly. Um, so the easiest way to install docs on a local server and the one that we recommend is using docker um, you can see the minimal requirements listed um, on the slide that will help you run everything smoothly um, <clears throat> the um, docker installation method um, you can also uh, deploy it on the uh, rm64 compatible version um, and another way is using the DB package for Debian and Ubuntu. And uh, you will need a 64-bit uh, Debian, Ubuntu, or other compatible distribution of the kernel version of 3.13 or later. Um, for the ARM version, you will need to have uh, Ubuntu um, 18.04 or Ubuntu 20.04 for ARM64. And so don't forget to pay attention um, to additional requirements. Um, Snap pack package is also available on Snapcraft for quick installation. The latest version currently available there is 7.2, but it will be updated shortly to um, the latest one. And you can also install uh, different editions of all new Office Docs and uh, managed, uh, managed clouds um, <clears throat> on the marketplaces such as Alibaba Cloud, Vulture, um, DigitalOcean, or Amazon Web Services. So now let's talk about the additional applications where you can access forms. So you basically don't have uh, to use the web version of Docs integrated in your cloud service to work with forms. Uh, you also can use the free only office desktop editors and uh, you can work with forms uh, right from your desktop offline uh, with the complete form creation functionality. And actually not only um, offline, um, <clears throat> besides, um, um, all the features um, <clears throat> of docs available for you here in the desktop editors, uh, including professional editing, formatting tools, objects, uh, work with all types of files, including PDF um, plugins, and uh, even collaborative functionality. So yeah, you can uh, connect the app to your on the Office Cloud, your Next Cloud, C file, uh, on Cloud, LifeRay, or K Drive to access your files and go to them with your team. Um, 
various installation methods are available, including D, uh, DB package, Snap, Flatpak, App Image, and uh, the um, ready app features um, that already features the uh, latest version of Docs. You can get it right now uh, via the QR code. I'll give you some time just in case. And um, <clears throat> On some uh, Ubuntu-based systems, uh, it's pre-installed by default, being the most popular suite um, to use among uh, the platform's users. So for example, Linkat, Linspire, and LinusFX. Um, in uh, many others, you can uh, get it from official package management managers or marketplaces such as Manjaro and Zorin. And um, um, the growing community Upon the office in Asia Pacific, just to conclude it all, um, <clears throat> continues to be a considerable part of over 10 million users worldwide. And so um, trusting users of the office include uh, individuals, technology providers, uh, education sector, small and medium businesses, government companies and administrations, and so basically support localization and distribution of docs and other applications of only offices is ensured via our network of partners, first of all, present uh, in Korea, Japan, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, India, Australia, and many other markets in the region. So um, you're always welcome to join a family in case you're interested. Um, and so, so just a few words about what we are planning next. Um, so the O form formats used in forms, um, the form specification makes it possible to implement additional security features and uh, we will add an ability to encrypt the forms using encrypted parts of the document, basically for field data. Um, and uh, we're also planning to add recipient roles for field filling and implement electronic signatures for signing both the entire document uh, with all the fields uh, as well as only the certain field group. And we're also planning to add an ability to edit uh, PDF as well. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Um, okay, uh, that's it. And thank you for your attention. Now I'm eager to answer your questions. And if you have any additional queries, you can always visit our official website and contact on the office team on GitHub forum. And uh, you can also find a few useful links via QR code here. Thank you.